What's up guys? MHB Vibes back here with another video. Welcome to my channel. Uh, if you're new here, I post travel content, vlogs, lifestyle videos, music content, and I kind of just speak my mind. Whatever I'm feeling, I just kind of turn the camera on and speak to you guys and let you guys know what I'm feeling. Today's video about things I no longer believe in. 2022 version. All right. Wow, this this year is passing by fast. It's already April, man. Like, I felt like the year just started. Anyway, first thing I want to get into is traveling. I no longer believe that you need a lot of money to travel. Of course, I'm biased toward it, but you don't need a lot of money. You know, people will see me going to different places and they feel like, oh man, you must be rich. I mean, I am. But you don't need a lot of money to, <laughs> you don't need a lot of money to travel. Like it doesn't, it doesn't take a lot. You literally just save a couple hundred bucks and just. That was my dog. Next thing I don't believe in is the government. Like who, like who, who got together and decided like these are the people that we want to govern our life. Like even before the pandemic, I was just, I was kind of skeptical, especially during the pandemic. Oh man, I definitely just, the government, no, like trash, just trash. Everybody's just trash. Next thing is religion. I know I'm gonna get some backlash, but just hear me out. So when I say religion, no, I actually mean religion. I still like study some practices of Buddhism, but I'm just not big into the religions. Unconditional love. That's a huge one. I felt like for the longest, I was just trying to love everybody unconditional. I'm not saying match everyone's energy, but loving everybody unconditional, no matter if they disrespect you, no matter how they treat you, like you're just bound to, you're bound for failure. You're bound for um, them upsetting you and you getting disrespected. So now it's kind of like, okay, well, they treat me like this. I acknowledge that, but I'm not loving everyone unconditional. Some people need to love. Another thing that I do not believe in is working over 40 hours a week. Now hear me up. There's been times since at my new job, I have worked over 40 hours. Like when my bosses say, like, hey, this is a hot job. I need this welded or I need this patched up or, you know, I need this broken apart and put together. Of course, like there's times when it's needed, but exerting extra energy to work 50 and 60 hours you know, it's, it can be tiring. I'm tired of suffering. I'm tired of suffering. And there's a perfect segue into another point. It's the hustle mentality. Now, you might see me uploading my art or whether that's through Instagram or through YouTube. And like, yeah, I try to be consistent and that's great. But the hustle mentality, wow. Like that's, hmm. I feel like nowadays the hustle mentality is go, 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 go. If you're sleeping eight hours, you're losing. Like it's just that mentality, like you always need to be on go mode. And if you're not, then you're a failure. And I just don't believe in that. Like, why do we feel like we gotta be so productive? I know why they made it the 40 hour work week, but that's old news. Like, why can't we just work 32 hours and just work four days a week, three to four days a week. He just wanted to be in the video, Never mind him. Anyway, three or four days a week, max out our productivity and that'd be it. But me going and working five days a week, putting in my 40 hours, and usually it's way more than 40 hours, um, Monday through Friday, it's more like, it's more like uh, 48, 50 in those five days and then come in on a Saturday and work four or five hours like, no, 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 no. Overtime is great, don't get me wrong, I'm not complaining. Another thing I I would say is perfectionism. Like I no longer believe in that. That's, that's, that's kind of coincides with the hustle mentality of feeling like 
you know, before I put out something, I need to be perfect, you know, and I understand we look at certain celebrities. And again, like I said in my last video, we like to gauge them as being like the standard. So we feel like we need to be perfect before we do anything. And it's not just art. I mean, I make it art related because I'm an artist, but with anything, we feel like we have to be this tip top shape. And for me, I'm about just putting it out there. Even if it's not as polished, not as, you know, Instagram ready or YouTube ready, I put it out there. Be trying to be perfect all the time. You're going to have the expectation and the expectation is going to lead to people seeing through that. It's not going to be authentic, you know, and not only that, you'll see people's reactions and you'll get or comments or dislikes or whatever it is. And you'll get like in your head about it because you're like, man, I made sure this was perfect and I still received this. So like, I just put it out there regardless if it's perfect or not. Soulmates, they do not exist. Let me, let me, let me explain what I mean by that. So I feel like the soulmate thing is kind of overdone or like overused. I think there's multiple people for everyone. I don't think it's just one person out of what, 7.7 7 billion at this point on earth as far as we know. I don't think there's just one person to one person. I get some people think that way and that's fine. Like if you if you met that person, then great. But to, to assume that there's only one and that you, you met that one in your town or in your state or in your country, it's just kind of like the earth is vast and you met the one in your, you met the one in your city, like, stop it no no sorry but no no thanks another thing that i do not believe in oppression well hold up don't turn off the video let me explain myself when i say oppression it feels like today everyone is kind of seeing who can be oppressed the most or who can be who can have the most trauma it feels like every day you you know you turn on the news or you turn on social media turn on social media you log into social media you see people talking about, oh, I had this trauma, I had to go through this, I had to do this, or I'm depressed, I'm anxious, I'm sad. I'm not negating anybody's feelings, don't get me wrong, but oh, like, it's not something that that needs to be compared. For example, people always say like, man, I made it out the mud, I had to go through this, and now I'm here, like, that's great, and I understand because uh, likewise, like, I, growing up, you know, I've had struggles for sure, but no, I love to have this story of, oh no, you know, my parents had a good retirement, so they left it to me. Or, you know, um, when it comes to like insurance, oh, their insurance is paid at all for, all my stuff is paid for. I don't have to, you know what I mean? Like, I love to come from a rich family, you know, like, that's fine. I don't have to get it out the mud. I think another thing that I don't believe in is dating within the same race. I know this is a heavy topic because uh, I've seen who watches my video and uh, we're within the same race. So <laughs> I might receive some backlash, but I'm gonna say it anyway, fuck it. I said what I said, it ain't changing over. To go through this world and feel like just because someone is not the same race as you, they won't understand you. I think it's a very naive and foolish idea. I've dated with outside of my race plenty of times and I wouldn't say that they got me any less. I mean, I understand certain issues within like my culture they might not get and that's fine. I'm not supposed to get everything. I wouldn't get anything that's probably in their culture, you know, maybe not. But if I'm not loved by a certain race of people or within my own race and I step outside of my race, then so be it, like whatever. But just know that you can't receive love outside of your race. And if you want to date someone, him or her, like, do it. You know what I mean? And not feel like they won't get you or they can't relate. So there's no need to date them or procreate with them. Like, no, like, go for it, right? And disrespect from people because of certain issues. Sometimes at work, I... I mean, I get disrespected, you know, just because I'll, I'll tell you guys, I work with older men, older welders, you know, older men, machinists, men who are like 
35 and up. I mean, I work with one guy who's he's 23, but most of them are, are uh, 35 and up. And so they already have this certain way of doing things. And me, the younger guy, again, I'm only 25. I get on the scene. It's going to be some disrespect. It's going to be some, oh, you know what you're talking about. I just no longer believe in it. Like, if someone's going to, again, I'm not saying to just match their energy. But if someone's going to disrespect you, like, I think you can let them know, like, hey, this is not a way that's communicative. Not in a F you type of way. Like, you don't know me. Like, I'm about to fight type of way. But in a communicative way, as an adult, this is, I do not like that you said this about this. And I would appreciate it if next time we can talk about it, we can do this. We can go about it in a different way. You know, I would love for that to happen. But that's just... I just going about it in a different way and not taking that disrespect because if you do people people will run over you if you take disrespect one time I guarantee you people are gonna feel like okay well he didn't, didn't say anything when I did this he just kind of backed off and left so of course they're gonna feel like okay next time I'm gonna say it again and that brings me to my last point is laziness which I think is a huge one I think today we're so quick to call people lazy um we call them that because we f we feel as though in our heads we're capable of doing something so they should be capable of doing something right it's the idea that even small things like oh you didn't clean out your car today oh you're lazy you know what i mean like oh you didn't clean your bedroom you're lazy oh you didn't you know what i mean they, they throw that around in my job sometimes you know like oh you're lazy you didn't finish this today you're lazy and it's like Stop assuming that just because, and it's not even like a, they can do it and you can't. It's just, if they don't feel like doing it, they don't want to do it. Like, that doesn't mean that they're lazy. That just means that they didn't want to do it. They didn't want to do it. Like, <laughs> like stop calling people lazy just because they don't do what you want them to do. Or, you know what I mean? No matter how big or small the task is, just stop it. No. So those are the things that I no longer believe in for this year. Of course, we're ever evolving creatures, so my mind might change in two months, it might change in a year, but right now, these are just some of the these are just some of the things that I no longer believe in. And I'm I'm curious to see what you guys no longer believe in. And if you agree with some of my points or you disagree, just leave it, leave a comment below. Um Again, I would love to hear you guys' opinions and thoughts. I appreciate you for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Maybe share this video. Whatever you want to do, it's fine. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. MXB, out.